Hello, my name is Journey Hanold, and I am currently a senior at the State University of New York at Fredonia. Um, I am majoring in Communication Disorders and Sciences, and I will have my bachelor's degree in that in May of 2020. Um, I currently work as a tutor for Chautauqua Striders in the schools in Dunkirk, New York, and generally we will have three tutors and a supervisor with us. And we tutor a variety of students. Uh, we tutor students who are playing sports and they just need extra help with their homework. Um, we tutor special needs children or children who just whose parents work and they don't have the time to help them with their homework. And on this particular day, the supervisor wasn't with us at this moment. And one of the children became very emotionally distraught and he is become upset before in the past, but this time was pretty extreme. It was worse than usual, so I suggested that we remove him from the situation and take him a walk and just have one-on-one -on -one time with him and just give him the attention that he needs to calm down and then he can come back and focus. And my coworkers uh, weren't comfortable with the amount of experience I had because at this point I had only really been working at Chautauqua Striders for a month so they wanted to just go over to the child's de uh, desk and coax him into calming down and I told them that I had learned in my childhood psychology class that um, when children are emotionally distraught they're not going to be able to focus on their homework until they can really work through their feelings. So I told them that taking him for this walk would give him that opportunity to do that without the other students in the room. And they were still not on board with my idea. So I adapted and I told them that we should maybe combine the ideas together and we can try to talk to him at his desk and see if that has a positive impact on his um, emotional state. And if it didn't, then we would take him for a walk and um, give him a chance to calm down. And they agreed to that, and we were able to successfully diffuse the situation. And we ended up creating a better and stronger bond with this child. So for future instances, it'll be more efficient to help him work through his feelings. Um, and speaking of feelings... Um, I feel as if one of the most important character traits a speech-language pathologist should have um, is that they should be empathetic because being able to share and understand another person's feelings in this field is crucial because communication disorders don't only affect a person's way of communicating, but they also can affect um, their emotional health because it can cause a variety of negative feelings and being able to empathize with and tell them that their feelings are valid is vital. Um, it is also important to be adaptable because a treatment plan isn't always going to work out like you expect it to and in these situations you need to be prepared to revise the plan to fit the client in the best way possible. Um, and it's also very important to be patient Results aren't going to happen overnight, and people are not going to react the same to the treatment plans. Some are going to have a faster healing process than others, and it's just, it's important to not get discouraged and to just be patient and just recognize that everyone can't go through the plans at the same pace. Um, Thank you for taking time to consider me for your program. I really appreciate it.